let's have an honest discussion about dry shampoo and why I think it's just bad for your hair. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for more hair and beauty related content from a professional hairdresser like me. In today's film, we're gonna be discussing dry shampoo. We're gonna answer some questions. We're gonna see whether it is actually good or bad for your hair and why people are so obsessed with this hate dirt that is dry shampoo. So if you wanna find out more about the dry shampoo and the topic of today's film, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we're going to be discussing dry shampoo. I am not a fan of dry shampoo. I choose not to use dry shampoo. I don't understand why people use dry shampoo. I mean, why wouldn't you just wash your hair? I don't think dry shampoo is all this. I think it's actually a really bad product and I'm all for hair products and I would only ever use dry shampoo as a styling product. But why do I think dry shampoo is so bad. We're gonna answer some questions like why is dry shampoo bad for your hair, what is it, how it works, when and when not you should use dry shampoo. So you guys let's get right into it. The first question I'm gonna be answering is when to use dry shampoo. When it comes to dry shampoo I nearly find that people use it for the sake of using it. Like dry shampoo just exploded and everyone's like, oh, let me just use dry shampoo. But when should you really use dry shampoo? I mean, we have shampoos there for a reason. The only time I would actually recommend using the dry shampoo is for people on the go. Let's say you have a flight to catch or you're running really, really late and you just want to refresh your hair. And what I mean by refresh your hair, maybe you were in a busy restaurant last night and your hair just smells like food and you just want to add a bit more scent, perfume and cleanness to your hair. That's really the only time I would use dry shampoo or if you're running really, really late for work or if you were on the flight, like I said, or if you're just on the go. I would not replace dry shampoo with washing your hair because I just find like nowadays people have this idea that Oh, you shouldn't wash your hair all the time and if you don't wash your hair all the time, it's not going to get greasy, but you're using a dry shampoo because your hair is greasy. So it's clearly not working. To me, if my hair is greasy, I would just wash it. When should you not use a dry shampoo? That is a very good question because everyone thinks that dry shampoo is for everyone, but it's not for everyone. If you suffering from like let's say dandruff or any scalp issues dry shampoo is not for you why because dry shampoo can build up and can actually cause the scalp to be worse like if you have any sort of sensitive skin I would be really careful with putting dry shampoo on your hair and on your scalp because as we all know your scalp gets greasy and not your hair so I mean if your scalp is in a bad way you're adding into the problem because most dry shampoo contains stuff like alcohol that can irritate the scalp and many other ingredients that are not good for your scalp. So if your scalp is in a bad way, I would definitely stay away from dry shampoo and just wash your hair. How does dry shampoo work? Basically a dry shampoo is a spray. You could nearly say it's like a deodorant for your hair. So dry shampoo either contains alcohol or starch based products to absorb the oils. Now some of them do contain both alcohol and starch based products so the alcohol as we all know is added to skincare products and all the products to absorb the oil and help the products to dry out really quickly also they're found in serum so basically when you apply it to the hair it will evaporate and it will not leave that oily feel to your hair and same with the starch based products starch will just absorb the product and it will help to absorb the oil also it has scent in it to mask the odor of your hair and scalp to just make it look fresh. Does dry shampoo clean your hair? Answer is no, I would not and I'm gonna say that. I would not recommend using dry shampoo instead of washing your hair. Scalp does need the benefit of shampoo and especially like that if you have a product build up and dry shampoo can build up on your hair because some of them do contain ingredients that can build up on your hair and your scalp you need the shampoo to actually rinse that off and you can really add to that issue as well I mean if you're using products that build up on your hair and then you're putting a dry shampoo on your hair let's say three times a week because you just want to wash your hair which is I'm just trying to 
understand this why people love this product so much I mean I know if you're like at a festival and you can't really wash your hair that's grand or if you're on the go but I mean if you have the facilities and you can wash your hair why not just do it anyways going back into the question it does not clean your hair it basically just masks the scent and the starch and alcohol help to absorb the oil but it can add to the issue of bad scalp is dry shampoo bad for your hair and scalp yes and no first of all it depends on the dry shampoo that you use and how often you use it obviously if you use a dry shampoo once in a blue moon that's fine but if you use it regularly it can be actually quite bad for your hair and your scalp and why is that dry shampoo can build up on your hair and it can actually clog the pores on your scalp it can actually create more dead skin cells and just add to the issue of irritated scalp or dandruff and it only happened to me let's say a few months ago I had a client and it's a client that I see all the time it's one of those clients that I would see let's say every four weeks for the hair and one day she just came in and she said to me Mike my scalp has gone very itchy and very flaky and just really irritated and we couldn't figure out the issue I was like well she'd never had scalp issues everything was always fine and we actually narrowed it down to dry shampoo so why is dry shampoo bad for your hair and your scalp because like that it can clog the pores and if you overuse it you're literally building up product on your hair and scalp and if you're not cleansing it out correctly boom you have product build up your scalp is clogged and it's just not doing anything to your hair but badness what ingredients to avoid in dry shampoo as you all know I am a big fan of ingredients and ingredients are very important in your hair care so there's few ingredients that you should absolutely avoid when using a dry shampoo or when buying a dry shampoo first of all it's talc and I mean talc is just been proven to be linked with cancer and talc was actually a very big ingredient when it came to dry shampoos at first I know loads of brand has removed it but I mean if you see talc on the ingredient list it's just a no silicones some dry shampoos can contain silicones and I'd say 90% of them do and as you all know I'm not a fan of silicone why silicones can be bad in dry shampoo one if you're not cleansing your hair you're building up silicone on your hair so we can build up on your hair and give you that greasy feeling also the silicone can build up on your scalp and like that you're gonna end up with scalp issues and if you're choosing not to wash your hair and just use dry shampoo like that I don't know why you would do that you're just adding to the problem and your hair will actually get greasier quicker because put it this way right your hair is greasy you're putting dry shampoo on your hair that contains let's say silicone so you're putting build up on greasy hair already then the next day you're like oh no I'm not gonna wash my hair because I want to preserve natural oils in my scalp mitt you're adding more dry shampoo which contains more silicone you do that over a week or three days in a row or four days in a row or two days in a row whatever you do with some people put dry shampoo two or three times a day you're literally adding silicone and all those different products on top of your hair so you're damaging your scalp and you're building up silicone on your hair so you're back to square one your hair will just get filled greasier and there's gonna be a a lot more buildup on your hair LPG is another ingredient you should stay away from and it is an aerosol toxin so it's one of those products that shoots the product towards your hair really really quickly if that makes sense this product is actually toxic and it can make it hard to breathe so if you have one of those dry shampoos that like spritz really fast towards your roots it probably has LPG in it obviously alcohol we spoke briefly about alcohol but what will alcohol do in dry shampoo alcohol will dehydrate the hair it will actually take away your natural oils and nourishment from the hair so alcohol is quite harsh but for dry shampoo to work they nearly need that alcohol because otherwise it's just not gonna work so alcohol is a no-no and why am I going ham a dry shampoo because right if there is let's say alcohol in a conditioner you're washing your hair you're cleansing your hair you're getting rid of any product buildup and your hair is freshly cleansed if you're just using a dry shampoo and not washing your hair I mean your hair is just gonna be in a bad bad state right you guys so let's talk about a few dry shampoos well I only have two in here but we're gonna compare a cheap dry shampoo with an expensive dry shampoo and those two dry shampoos are gonna be Batiste dry shampoo versus Moroccan oil dry shampoo boom right so this one is about four quid this one is 21 euros so the main difference in the two of them is the price difference now the Moroccan oil dry shampoo does come in light tones and dark tones and I never use dry shampoo I very rarely would use dry shampoo in my hair 
or on my clients because I mean when they're in a hair salon the hair is clean. The only time I would really use dry shampoo is for volume or for styling. They're brilliant for doing updos and just for adding texture into the hair. When we're looking at the ingredients of those two dry shampoos, the only main difference is that this dry shampoo contains argan oil, crenel oil and water. So with this dry shampoo, we do get the benefits of the Moroccan oil technology in it. So it's gonna nourish your hair, but it is definitely better than using Batiste. I do not like Batiste. I do not like the smell of the Batiste. I do not like what it does. It just, it's just a no. When it comes to this dry shampoo, it's all right, but I still wouldn't really use it. And I mean, it says that it's gonna give you soft, silky feel and they both don't have white residue. I mean, this one won't have white residue because it is for dark tones. Now, what I like this dry shampoo for is if someone has gray hair, and I think that's brilliant. If you have gray hair, and if you have to go out and you have brunette hair and you just want to get rid of that line, spray that in and it's gonna do magic. It's gonna cover up that gray hair. Now I do find with the blonde ones, they do leave white residue, even though they say they don't leave white residue, but they still do. And actually for my Halloween film, I use dry shampoo to make my hair white. And I think that is the only reason you would use really a dry shampoo. When it comes to dry shampoos, I would only recommend using it when you really, really have to end you just can't wash your hair. I would not replace dry shampoo with regular shampoo because your scalp and your hair needs the goodness of a good shampoo. Please let me know in the comment section down below when you use the dry shampoo, what are your thoughts about this film and will that kind of change your mind about using dry shampoo because I would like to understand why people use it because I really thought dry shampoo was just a trend. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media. And of course you guys, please, 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 please take care. Bye.